Hey, it's Brigzar. It's Train Month. And this month, every day in March 2019, we are looking at a different LEGO train set each day. And I have finally built last year's passenger train. This is set 60197. I'm very happy to build it. It's this one, in case you don't know. That's the, the one from like five years ago that they kept out for four years. So I'm going to be showing you some of the over... Just kind of do an overview. And I'm going to tell you why I like 60197 better than the old one from the last series, 60051. I think they did some things. And it's just... Actually, there's one main thing they did that I like better. Actually, there's two things I like better. All right, so let's get to it. So this passenger train has 677 pieces, four minifigures, but the most important thing is this new powered up feature. It's Bluetooth, and it's a lot simpler, I think, and it can be app controlled. I've actually not used the app yet. Maybe we'll do that in a future video. I'm going to build the cargo train as well. But for now, we're just going to use it as it comes with the regular controller it has. All right, so it also comes with an oval of track. I've actually added a few straight sections to make this bigger section of track so I can get it around my vintage track there. But this thing is so easy. You just push the button, you push the button, and then you push the button. Oh, wait a minute. I hit the wrong button. It helps if you push the right button. And it's step control. So that was just, I only pushed the button once. So I can push the minus button and it should slow down or stop. There. It's still whining. Then push the plus button. Push it again. Uh oh, it hit something. I forgot to check to make sure everything was all right. So I'm going to see what it's like at top speed here. You can't do it in fast succession, like pushing the button. It seems like you got to do it slowly. Will it go any faster? Nope, that's, I just stopped. I hit the red button by mistake. So let's try it again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I don't seem to be able to get it to go any faster. Come on, go faster! 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 That's as fast as it'll go. Now, I can't run... I got my track too close together. I would run this other one. But it will derail. Let's see what happens. It hasn't derailed yet. Oh, okay, it did all right. They hit right here, but it's okay. It's not crashing completely. The batteries aren't as fresh on the white one. All right, let's stop that train. I lost the controller. Watch this. Stop on a dime here. Boop. So we get four minifigures. This guy actually has the Benny Spaceman logo. It's under his Indiana Jones pack there. I had an extra hot dog that came with this set, so he's holding it. It's not a rare torso or anything, but that looks like a young brick czar. Uh, going to go ride the train and then we have our barista with the blonde hair um, she works the coffee area of the train i guess <laughs> we have our traveler and she's got the biggest lego suitcase i've seen since fabuland days there is a fabuland suitcase that is bigger than this but finally a, a suitcase that you can actually pack stuff in all the other suitcases in the train sets, they look like uh, briefcases <laughs> instead of a suitcase. Um, so this is actually more like a suitcase. And then we get our traditional 
train driver. He's got the dark red hat, which I can never find one. I want to get one on eBay that's human sized for me, and I can never find one. And uh, but anyway, that's that's your four minifigures, and they're on the, the the world's smallest loading platform. You got two chairs in the Lego City Sun in the departure time when all trains leave 12:01. It's always 12:01 in the Lego world. You also get this uh, signal. It's very basic, so uh, not very exciting signal. It's like the each incarnation of Lego train they make the side elements the the platforms and the signals they just get more and more basic so we're going to look at the insides of the train now or uh oh why is this thing not moving come on there we go whoa oh it went too far come back i passed the camera and the oh no wonder the engineer's dead He died. He's over here. All right. Oh, he's okay. All right. Oh, the nose cone came off. <laughs> All right. The reason that's off, <clears throat> like I said, everything keeps getting simpler, but I don't necessarily have a real problem with that. I mean, because most of the time the appeal of trains is looking at them driving. All you got is this one little control panel and a chair. <laughs> that's all there is. It's like the most basic... Uh, engine room i don't know what you call it on the train all right so and then this whole piece comes off like that and that's all there is to that and then the battery box is in here let's see if i can take this off Ugh. i can't remember how to do it i think there we go. <laughs> I got it now. So there's the battery box in there. It uses six AAA batteries, and it's the new um, power up. And you have to press and hold it for five seconds to turn it off. And it's off, and you just push it once, and it comes right back on. And then you can also configure it to connect to another Bluetooth device. I haven't yet done that. Uh, this video, I'm not going to feature the app. It's just an overview of what you get right out of the box. I don't think I put that back in there right. It's hard to do. All right, so that is the locomotive. It reminds me of the Intercity train. I know a lot of people say that's technically not what it is. But the Intercity 125, it's not too hard to make it into that. All right, so here's the first carriage or passenger car. Let's see if I can get this roof off. Well, that one came off much better. So this would be the one where the barista will be. Should be back here. You got a coffee pot, a hot dog, some cupcakes, coffee cupcake, a croissant. Very basic, standing room only, no chairs in there. It's just uh, basically it's the uh, dining car with no tables for anyone to sit. So everybody's got a stand. I don't understand that, but that's okay. Now, wait a minute. I'm supposed to like this better than the other one. And everything I'm saying is seeming negative, but it's not really. Hold on. doesn't have any doors. The white train didn't have any doors either, except for the doors between cars. I'm trying to... Yo, I did it with the remote. Got it right in front of there. All right, so the next one is the regular um, passenger car where people would sit. And so we're going to take the roof off of this and see that this got room for four. And that's it. So the innards are pretty basic, pretty sad. But the two things that I like about this, number one, I like the powered up and being able to use a phone to control this, which we are not going to do in this video again. But the other thing I like is you see how you got one car there? in another car, in the engine. Let's compare that to the way the, the the white train was. The white train, which I did, must have turned off again. Oh, there it goes. You have, that's the rear engine, a middle car, 
and then another engine. So it just looks kind of sad just having the two engines and one passenger car in the middle. I like how they did this like they did the Horizon Express and that you basically you got to buy two to make a complete train but you get more passenger cars. That's one thing they failed with on the Emerald Knight. They never made extra cars for it. I'd rather have more cars than more engines. Now engines are what make trains go and everything but that's what I really like about this. Oh, that, that wheel came off. And I broke the pantograph. Oh, my goodness. BBI. All right. So, anyway. That's the two main things I like about it. Powered up. And you get two passenger cars. And it looks pretty cool. So, that's some of my thoughts on this train and why I like it. I do like it, I think, better than the ICE train. Even though... This 60051 passenger train, I'm trying to make this thing go faster, is, it's a nice looking one as well. It's just, I think it could have been better. And it's noisier. I just noticed that. Let's see if we get this one going full speed. Yeah, the new motor... The new motor seems uh, quieter. That one. I have no idea if that'll show up. Which is your favorite? Do you like the old white train or the new yellow and blue? Leave your comment below and tell me which is your favorite. That's a blue snowball. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be doing more train videos this month. I love trains and I love Lego and I especially love Lego trains. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Spriggs are. Here are the four minifigures you get. Whoa. It's not focusing. Oh. All right. So we... I always say all right. I got to stop.